really don't like talking about this. I'm gonna answer this pretty quick here. Uh, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. It's just like, uh, come on. So, I'll tell you the truth. To any of you homosexuals who think that you're Christian, though you may be, there's one little thing that the Lord doesn't like and kind of has against thee. But if it's a mental condition that, um, I don't know, maybe you have a mental problem, you can't solve it, you can't figure it out in your mind, you're not smart enough to figure out your own mind, then not say, but do not sin, and do not partake in the disgusting acts of it thereof. I would say unto all of you perverse people in that regard, I don't care, yeah, it is true, you are perverse. Why? Because I say to you people out there that are not attracted to the female, the beauty of the woman, and you are a man, I would say unto you, if the Christ were to go and walk up to you, wouldn't it kind of suck that he knows that you may be a little gay? That's why I'm saying, for all the men out there who are in that weird spell, and it's bringing a lot of degeneracy likened unto a wave of bullshit on the left, look at that, that stupid shit, you guys are prancing around like idiots. And the feminists, they're, they're guilty too. And all these little thingy dingy dingy dings in the little fucked up world we're living in. It's because it's a disgusting topic. Why? Because I think back to Adam and Eve. Remember, you idiots? When God made woman for man. Remember Adam and Eve? Nah, you guys don't care. You're godless. You don't read the Bible. That is why, simply put, homosexuals offend me. And, hey, call me homophobic. I am. I don't like them. But when they're around, okay, I won't judge them, whatever. I'll, you know, but if they start, well, pretty well verbalizing sin towards me, or if they come at me in a way likened unto if I were a woman, I would say, would you approach Jesus the Christ the same way? Simply put, I mean, logically, by default. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, the grass is green and you look up, uh, the sky is blue, don't even worry about it, yeah. It's easy. Logically. Snap out of it, you guys. Wake up. Straighten up. Clean up shop. You know, sweep up a bit. Uh, sometimes I feel like I'm raising children, I don't know. <laughs> look at, look at it, you know, all of you guys watching. Or no. If God were to walk up to you, and he were, you know, a man. Wouldn't it be offensive if you walked up to him? If God were a man and you're walking up to him like he's a woman? Simply put, logically, by default, <laughs> the grass is green. Uh, you look up at the sky, the sky is blue. Can't you guys uh, see through that little deception that Satan did unto you? Wake up and snap out of it. Some of you people that are watching this video or have clicked, maybe you did a guilty click, maybe you did an innocent click, and you said, what does this philosopher have to say about it? <laughs> so even if you don't believe in what I believe, think about it. Whatever God you believe in, fine, fine, we'll go there. If your Lord was almighty and he went and he stood before you and you're one of these... I mean, would you stand before the Lord? Likened unto if the Lord was, um, you know, if God was um, Eve, or would you say, no, you get it between the difference of Adam and Eve. And all I'm seeing around the world, all I'm seeing on the stupid internet, and I've even seen disgusting signs out there in the world away from this damn screen. They're freaking splitting A and B and saying they're C and D. Anything before the word trans, it's getting removed and it's cut off and thrown into the fire. How disgusting is it? Everything, there is no excuse by creational default logically in every single concept, every single perception, every single way of thinking about it in reality when you go and you really when you really think about it, when you when you could solve these weird problems, and when you see other people with weird problems that you don't have, you can still look and say, what the f 
and then you go and you solve it in a way where you don't figure it out fully because you say there's a there's a there's a line that gets drawn there and it gets cast into the fire and you only know what you know do you see what I mean wake up some of you You can never, I say unto your kind, I say unto your kind, you can never define yourself. It was always perverse. And know the wisdom of the beauty of woman, you see. Ah, life is easy, but you guys are taking it like it ain't crystal clear, black and white, clear as day, A, B, C, one, two, three, oh wait, oh wait, he said one, two, three. But you're taking the example wrong, because I'm not talking about A and B. I counted in numbers, you see. I didn't say one, two, who cares? For there is Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But you guys, down here, upon this earth, not all of you, not those in Christ. Yeah, you guys know. But you guys who aren't, come on, get back behind the Lord. Because many of you don't know your A's and B's. No, you go and you spread it forth and you say, oh, let's go explore in our sin and you go all the way to Z. And then when you reach the bottom of the rabbit hole, as you guys call it, when you reach Z, what profit thee but to go right back and say, the Bible is true in all these things. And within all these things, the Lord is still with us. The Holy Bible reigns true.